Hello and welcome. This is a quick step-by-step -step video guide on how to quickly optimize and boost your Windows PC for gaming. But also, this guide will help all different kinds of PCs to perform better. But please note that this is more of a beginner's guide and that advanced users may already know some of these little tips and tricks that I'm about to show you. But before we go through all that, you will need to ensure you have the very latest version of Windows installed and you're fully up to date if you want to check but don't know how to, just navigate down to the Windows search bar, type in Windows Update in full and click the check for updates icon, then just install and update whatever you need to before proceeding with the guide. So now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Step one, clean out your shader cache. I cannot stress enough how important this is. This basically cleanses and resets your stored shaders, which are basically tones and textures that your installed games save. Every time there's a new update, more are added on. Shader compiling can cause crashes, stutters, freezes, and even overheating in some cases. It uses extra memory too. Resetting your shader cache should always be the first thing you do before installing a new game or when a new update comes along. Now there's a link in the description for a video that will show you two simple ways on how to easily clean and reset your shader cache. Step two, to ensure you get the most out of your PC whilst you game, I highly advise that you switch off every overlay and background application while you play. Things like Steam, Nvidia GeForce, Xbox Game Bar, Discord, even River Tuner, and any others that could affect the performance while you game. This is mostly for players with low-end gaming systems that need all the power they can get, basically. To turn the Steam overlay off, just head into the Steam setting menu, click in-game and untick the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in-game. To turn off the Nvidia GeForce overlay, open up Nvidia GeForce Experience, click on the settings icon, go to general and switch off the in-game overlay for Xbox Game Bar. Using the Windows search bar, type Game Mode Settings and then click the icon. Once the window is open, navigate to the left side and click Xbox Game Bar. And of course, set it off. Then you navigate back to the left and click on Captures, where you then need to switch off background recording and recorded audio. For Discord, all you need to do is open Settings and on the left, select Overlay. You'll then just need to disable the option that says Enable In-Game Overlay. After you've done that, navigate to Advanced and make sure Hardware Acceleration is set to Off, as this actually uses GPU power to run Discord. Step 3. Windows Game Mode In the Windows search bar, type in Game Mode and click the settings icon. Once the window pops up, ensure Game Mode is set to On. For quite some time there were issues with this particular setting, but Microsoft has now finally fixed it. So basically, if you are running the very latest version of Windows 10, make sure you turn Game Mode On. This will force all of your PC resources on the game you're playing and suppresses any background activity from affecting your system system while you game. Step 4. Hags. Navigate back to your Windows search bar and type in graphics settings and click the icon. Now in here, you should see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And this needs to be set to on. And if it wasn't, you will need to restart your PC after you turn it on. Once you're done, navigate down to graphics performance preference. And basically you always want to add your games to this graphics performance list. In order to do this, you will need to know exactly where your game is installed and you'll need to add the games launch application to the list. To do this simply click browse and navigate your way to find where your game is installed. Then find the application icon that launches the game and simply add it to your graphics list. Finally, you would just need to click on Options, set the game to High Performance, click Save, and then you're done. Now with any Microsoft Store games, all you need to do is under Choose an App to Set Preference, change it from Desktop App to Microsoft Store App and the new drop-down box will appear. All you then need to do is click that drop-down box and select the application you want, which in this particular case will be whichever game you're adding to the games list. Don't forget to then just click options, setting it to high performance and saving it. Step five. 
go back to the window search bar once again, type in power plan and click edit power plan. At the very top, click power options and under preferred plans, ensure high performance is selected. Step six, if you have multiple screens, I would advise to only have one screen on when you play. If you press the Windows key and P together, you will bring up a menu that lets you select which screens to have on. Step seven, background apps. Simply type settings into Windows search bar and click the icon, then select privacy. On the left menu, scroll down all the way until you see background apps. Then simply switch off, let apps run in the background. Step eight, the Windows Registry Edit. Now this step may look a little daunting, but it really isn't, I promise. Just follow along and you're gonna be 100% just fine. First, just head on over to the Windows search bar. Type in Run and hit Enter. Once the new window opens up, simply type in Reg Edit, as you see on screen, and hit Enter once again. You're now inside the Windows Registry Editor. In here, we're going to optimize and tweak a couple of values that will set important Windows Registry keys to completely prioritize prioritize gaming above all else. This includes your CPU resources. So start off by double clicking H key local machine, then double click software, then find the Microsoft folder and once again double click it. Then scroll down until you find Windows NT and you guessed it, double click that. Then double click the current version folder and finally scroll down until you find the multimedia folder and double click that one. You'll now be seeing a folder called System Profile and I want you to just click that one once. Now to the right, you will see two options inside. One is titled Network Throttling Index and the other is titled System Responsiveness. Starting with Network Throttling, I want you to double click it and delete any value you see in there. And and then you proceed to type in eight F's, as in F, 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 F. And this will actually disable network throttling completely, which is extremely beneficial for gaming. Now, once that's done, click OK and exit. Next up, double click on system responsiveness and change the value to zero. This will actually ensure all your CPU resources go towards gaming. And once you've edited the values inside these two registries, head back over to the left and double click on system profile. Then double click on tasks and then click the games folder just once. Head over to the right and double click on GPU priority and set the value data to eight. You then click OK. Next up, double click priority and change the value to six and click OK. Finally, double click on scheduling category and change the value data to high if it wasn't already and click on OK. You have now successfully optimized the Windows registry for gaming. Step number nine, clearing out your temp folder. This is a pretty simple step and it will clear away a huge amount of unnecessary dumped files that are just simply cluttering your machine. Firstly, head down to the window search bar and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Once the window pops up, you will need to ensure that your hidden items are actually showing as this is a hidden folder. To do that, all you need to do is click on view at the top and then tick the box to the right that says hidden items. Once you've done that, click app data on the address bar and you will see a sort of transparent folder called local. Double click on it and then scroll all the way down until you find another transparent folder that's called temp. Once inside here, you'll want to click and drag your mouse to highlight every single file inside the folder. Then just right click on your mouse and select delete. A window will pop up and what you simply need to do is tick the box that says do this for all current items and then click skip and keep doing the same until the process is finished and you're only actually left with the files that are actually being used by your machine inside the folder. Step number 10, download and install Quick CPU. This particular step is totally optional, but I would highly recommend it. Basically, there is a particular program that's called Quick CPU, and all it does is it ensures 100% of your CPU is being utilized by your machine whenever it requires it. 
It is extremely beneficial for all you gamers out there and also very beneficial for video editing and other heavy load applications. I'll put the download link in the description down below for any of you that might want to do that. All you need to do is get it installed. Once you've done that, run the application and ensure the values at the bottom are all set to 100. In all fairness, the application itself should do this automatically for you, but just double check anyway. What you also want to do is go to options and tick the last three options to ensure that the program comes on when you start your machine and it's basically on at all times. Last but not least, an honorable mention to CCleaner. If you don't have that installed on your machine, you absolutely should. It is pretty much the most essential tool to keeping your machine and Windows healthy. It is a very simple program to use that will regularly clean out all the necessary files and will keep all your drivers up to date automatically without you having to worry about it. Also, make sure to give your machine a restart after you've done all these steps. And that's basically it. Hopefully this will help some of you gamers out there. If you have any other tips, make sure to put them in the comments for others to see. And if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments and you'll get an answer very quickly, either from myself or any of the other very helpful community members or anyone else browsing through the comments. Thank you all very much for watching. See you soon. Uh, goodbye.